Today we're going to show you how to change the worm gear on your mixer. It's a really easy job, but you will need a few tools. Start with a soft headed hammer and a larger ball peen hammer. You'll need two flat blade screwdrivers. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver and a small punch or flat blade screwdriver. Putty knife and a couple of drift punches, one at 330 seconds and one at 530 seconds. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll do is disconnect the power to the mixer and we'll set it on a suitable work surface. Now there's a couple of methods that you could use to replace those parts. You can either do it with the mixer head mounted to the base or remove the mixer head. We'll do that method because it is a little easier to see what we're doing. So we'll tilt it up. Remove a single flat blade screw just down inside the base. We'll just loosen that a couple of turns. And then we can remove the pivot pin. Set that aside, we'll lift the base off, and we'll set that aside. Now we also need to remove the planetary gear assembly, and there's a little trim ring around that that needs to come off. So with either a putty knife or a flat blade screwdriver, we'll just catch the edge of that and give it a slight tap. We'll do the same on the reverse side, and we'll set that aside. And we'll also have to remove the pin that is in that shaft. So with our 5 30 seconds punch, and our ball peen hammer, we're going to tap that pin out. We'll set that aside. You also have to remove four flat blade screws that secure the motor to the gear assembly. And one of these screws has a lock washer on it, so we'll make sure that when you put it back together that that screw goes in either of the back two slots. Now flip the assembly over, remove a single Phillips screw from the rear motor cover. We'll tilt that cover back and unhook it from the bottom. Set that aside. And we'll also need to pull the strain relief for the cord of that U-shaped slot on the bottom. And now we're ready to separate the planetary gear from the top. You may need a couple of flat blade screwdrivers to screw under either of these slots where there is a screw existing. You pry upwards on it. that carefully off of the shaft. We'll set that aside. Now we can remove the five slot head screws around the perimeter of that. And once we've removed all of those five screws, we can now separate the motor from the gear assembly. There's a fair amount of grease inside of that housing, so use a little caution that we don't get it all over ourselves. Now set 
the motor aside. Take care not to damage the gasket. We'll start by removing some of the excess grease on that assembly. Scrape it off with a putty knife. And we can wipe it back inside the motor housing. Next, we'll remove the three Phillips screws. And hold that bracket to the housing. And now we can lift that worm gear and bracket completely off. Once we have that assembly out and we can work at it, you rotate that bevel gear and you will find a pin that secures it to the shaft. So we need to knock that pin out. So with our 3 30 seconds pin punch, we'll pull that lower gear and shaft completely out of the housing. If it won't pry out easily, you can stand it on end and tap it through from the top. Just make sure you have an opening on the bottom for the gear to slide out through. Pull that lower gear and shaft completely out of the housing. You can now lift the worm gear out. There is a spacer washer on either side of that worm gear. We need to make sure that we have those installed when we replace the gear. Set the old one aside. Drop the new one into place. And reinsert that shaft and gear. Line that spacer washer. Then we'll line up the hole in the new gear with the hole in the shaft. And reinsert the pin. Then we take the pin, line that up with the hole in the worm gear. We'll tap that into place. In with our punch, seat it completely till it's flush. Make sure it's equal distance on both sides. And now we can put a little bit of that grease back on that worm gear. And just scoop some out of the motor housing. Apply it liberally. we can put the assembly back on the gear case. Now we take our new assembly and before we install it on the housing we'll just scoop a little of that grease of the motor housing and apply it liberally to the bevel gear. Well, there are two locator pins on that housing that will line up the two holes on the double gear and bracket. We'll next install those three screws. Now we'll want to make sure that we tighten all three of those screws securely. They do have a lock washer under the head of them to keep them snug. And we make sure all three of those screws are nice and secure. Now we're ready to mount that gear assembly back into the motor housing. make sure that that gasket stays in place. Now it may not immediately sit all the way down and if you need to just put a pin punch through the hole in that shaft and just turn that enough that the gear will mesh. 
You can now install the five screws around that planetary gear. Next, we can put the four screws that hold the base to the motor assembly. Remember to keep the screw with the lock washer at the rear. set that gear assembly on the top. This shaft has a little bit of movement up and down in it. So take note of where the hole is for the pin. Try to line that up as best you can. Now with a small flat blade screwdriver, you can reach in and locate that hole through the shaft. Pull the shaft upwards. We'll reinsert the pin. Insert it so that it's equal distance on both sides. Now put the rear motor cover on, slide the electrical cord the strain relief into position. There's two hooks in the bottom of that rear motor cover that fit into a little slot on the bottom here. Make sure they're engaged. Place the single screw that holds that cover in place. Put the trim ring back over the planetary gear. Using a soft faced hammer, we'll just tap that into position. Now we're ready to mount the stand. Slide the pin through so it's flush on both sides. Tighten up that slot head screw. Remove any of the grease that we may have gotten on the exterior case. And our repair is complete.